chefs are artists deep down, right? I think we need to dig down deep and remember, you know, maybe why it is we started doing this or how to actually create something without getting the advice from, you know, Dr. or Chef Google, whatever you want to call it. The next Iron Chef is... Something that I do even with my plated dishes, I kind of like to take the ingredients that we've used and almost do them in like a raw state. So we had that roasted zucchini. So then I'll just put okay. some raw zucchini and the heat will just kind of almost wilt it because we slice them real thin. And then obviously we had the pecorinos that was grated that cooked. I just take a little fresh pecorino, gives it a little texture. And then just to remind everybody that this is a beautiful wood burning oven, I take some smoked salt. And obviously, we hit it with oil right before it went in. This is just so you get that gorgeous grassy notes from the olive oil. Most chefs that have half a brain realize that we're nothing without the people that supply the ingredients to us. You know, I'm a firm believer in you can't make good food with bad ingredients. 10 times out of 10, when you see a great product, it's because of the people that are doing it. it you know, it shows in the product. From the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, you're devoted to making sure that your restaurant is clicking on all cylinders and that your employees are happy and that the food comes out the way it's supposed to come out. So this is a uh, Creekstone Farms 30-day aged tomahawk steak, which is a ribeye. You get two kind of textures out of it. You get the eye, which is right here, and then you have the cap, which is right here. You always want to look for the marbling. You always want to look for the fat. And when you're dealing with dry aged, you should be able to smell the age even after you trim off all the stuff. At the restaurant, we use mop, which is basically the renderings from all the dry aged scraps that we get. At home, I know it's a little difficult, so I just substitute butter, keeping it simple, and you know, letting all the heat and the aromatics do their magic. So now we're gonna take the <laughs> gonna take the cooked spaghetti and literally right into the sauce. Uh, you know, thank you guys so much for spending the time with me. Um, I had fun. I'm going to eat this entire plate of spaghetti. I hope you guys do at home. Again, this is Mark Forgione. Um, thank you so much. Yeah.